It's Jabari Young here at MainlineMediaNews.com here with Thomas Dupay, Gary Cobb, and we are right in front of Lincoln Financial Field, the place where Donovan McNabb will make his debut as a Redskin, a former Eagle, on Sunday. I know you're gonna. I know you got something to say, but right quick, Thomas, what are you expecting from the Eagles fan? You played here. You know you were ex fullback here, ex fullback in the NFL. What are you expecting this crowd to say when Donovan McNabb touches the field? From the Eagles fan, I'm looking for. Um, it's gonna be two things. One, a praise, and two, and, and the second one, they're gonna um, boo. You know, because for so many years you got there, but you never got there, and now they're gonna look at him like now nah, he's with a different team. So what he's gonna do? So there's gonna be a happy and sad feeling, but it's gonna be a good day. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. You're looking forward to it, right? I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but you're going to be rooting for Donovan. I'm going to be rooting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rooting for football. You're rooting for football. <laughs> That's right. G. Cobb, I mean, you know how this thing goes. I mean, uh, your players, you just came from over to Eagles practice. I'm sure that they are hyped to see McNabb. They want to win. Obviously, they respect him, but they also want to win. What are you expecting on Sunday? Well, you know, I think that what the fans are going to do is, first of all, I think they will give him uh, applause. Yeah. I think there will be some booing. But I think it'll be minority, uh, the, the, the minority of fans will be booing. The majority of the fans, I think, will cheer because, you know, they had a good run. I, I thought that um, Donovan helped the team win a lot. I mean, this was a winning atmosphere. Every time uh, the fans came to the game, they expected to win. It wasn't like that before Donovan got here. I mean, it was a time when people knew they were going to lose. In fact, they were out of the running for the playoffs usually maybe fourth, fifth, sixth week of the season. Every year Donovan was here nearly, there was a chance that people expected them to have a shot at, at winning a Super Bowl. They expected them to be in the playoffs, and most of the time uh, they delivered. Andy Reid is a guy who is a loyal, he's a loyal coach. When he says, hey, listen, I'm going with this guy, he's going with it, he surprised the world when he went to Michael Vick. And I'm sure everybody was surprised. I was surprised. Me and you were down there when Vick got the phone call to, you know, that he was going to be starting. Were you shocked at that? I'm gonna get you. Were you shocked at it? And being an ex-football player, were you shocked? You know, this is where your, this was your former coach. Were you shocked at it? Honestly, I don't. From a, from a player perspective, I wasn't really shocked because um, whoever produces is who the, t who's the coach is gonna go with. And right now, the man that's producing is Michael Vick. So therefore, Andy Reid's gonna go with Michael Vick. That's how the game is played. You concur with that? Well, yes, I, I concur with it. Definitely, uh, you know, uh, Michael Vick has been producing, but. I think during uh, the training camp, during the off season, uh, Kevin Cobb was not, he wasn't playing well. You know, this was something that just, it just didn't happen immediately. But what I saw was he was having trouble sitting in the big seat. You know, when you're the man, some people can be the second guy. Uh, they can ride, ride shotgun, but they can't get behind the wheel. And uh, that's really where I think Kevin stumbled a bit. I think he expected and tried to do too much, you know, uh, listening to what people were saying. You had all these people saying, well, he does this better than Donovan. He does that better than Donovan. I mean, just over, too much hype. And I thought he started listening to some of that, and it was too much for him to swallow, knowing the way this city is when you don't deliver. You guys are both players. You know how this thing goes. I wrote a column recently saying, I asked the question, is Donovan McNabb jealous? of what he sees right now going on with the Philadelphia Eagles. He's been here. Uh, he got two dynamic receivers that Donovan has wanted receivers like that for years. He gets them. Now he's shipped out. Is Donovan McNabb, put yourself in his shoes, is he jealous? Thomas, we'll start with you. I personally think he's jealous. You know, um, every year players get changed. And uh, the year that he was given a great receiver, great thing happened. But now what Donovan have done over the years, what he had, he worked with. And not only did he work with, he made things happen. And you can't take that from the man. Now, going back to Michael Vick, before the whole situation went down with him, he was an all, he's an all pro player. Right. So he's been carrying the ship before. He's been controlling the ship. So it's just, it's nothing new for him. Just getting reacclimated to what he's doing. G, is Donovan McNabb jealous? I, I don't think he's, uh, you know, clearly jealous. Uh, I, I think he would like to be here. You know, uh, I don't know if I'd use the word jealous, but I think he looks at it and says, you know, this was a nice spot to be. But realize he, he makes it a point to say all the time, I didn't want to leave. I mean, he comes out and says it, which I think he needs to stop saying, you know, because he's down in, in D.C. now. He and he's showing those guys that you don't want to be there. You, yeah, you know. yeah, but uh, and I, I think he will be out of there after this year, though. I do think he's going to probably head to Minnesota. With you know. Barrett Childers, they got yeah. some dynamic receivers out I, there. Yeah, so. I think that would be a good fit uh, for him. But, you know, I do think he would like to have, you know, stayed here. Close it out. Okay. Washington Eagles. I mean, it's probably going to be the game of the week right here. I'm going to get 
you got to give me a pick, okay? Forget root for football. I need a pick, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm going to take the Eagles only because of the simple fact that that offense just looks too explosive right now. I don't think Washington can catch up with them. They had a hard time with the Rams, so I don't think they'll be able to catch up with them. What do you say? I'm going to go with Philadelphia, meaning that um, – Homer. True. <laughs> I played here. I know the defense. I know the offense. And I know that the weapons are still here. Only thing that's changed is, is, is the man behind. But he has to have a whole year of learning underneath his belt. So right now he's getting acclimated. Um, Donovan is a new assistant. It's his first year there. So there's still a lot of things he's got to acclimate himself with. So right now, I go with Philadelphia. Philadelphia, G? Well, you know, I, I think that the Eagles should win the game. Um, I just wonder at times the way Washington always seems to play the Eagles. I mean, I don't, tough, I, I don't like the way their defense yeah, is uh, set up. I think they made some changes defensively, Washington did, that aren't in their best interest. They should be playing a 4-3. They got 4-3 personnel. They like to play man-to-man. -man. They've, they've had success against the Eagles and everything. They changed that up. I don't like that. Uh, but I, I do think it's going to be a tough game. But I, I'll, I'll go, I'm going to go with the Eagles. I, I, I think that they, they have enough firepower, should be able to win the football game. I just hope that it comes down to maybe the Eagles are up three, fourth quarter, last drive. McNabb has it, four downs to go. Man, I mean, I think everybody would be glued to the TV. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would be glued to the well, TV. Well, it's going to be fun. You know, it's, I mean, gonna, it's, it's, the, it's the game of the week. Yeah. It's the game of the week. And really, you got to give credit to Michael Vick. He's taking uh, this week. Michael Vick has owned the NFL. Oh, it's serious. He's oh, yeah. the offensive player of the month, oh, yeah. and, and Nate Allen, the offense, I mean, the, the defensive rookie of the month. So, I mean, they got some, they got but, some guys. You know, when they say Vick is back, they're not lying. What a difference a year makes. We are here in the rain across the street from Lincoln Financial Field. Jabari Young, Thomas Dupay, ex-fullback, G. Cobb, I appreciate your time. MainlineMediaNews.com.